Assalamu alaikum and namaste to all the people. I am Elias and you are watching the Dots of UAT vlogs. Hope so, you are doing great. So in this video, I will be talking about another type or another another part of FIP, which is called uh, poster presentation or poster evaluation. So previously, I have made many videos on uh, uh, what is final year project, how its evaluation is done, how. Uh, how you propose your FIP, how it is evaluated and many other things. Well, in this video, I will be talking about only poster presentation. So, uh, as I said, there are many types of evaluations uh, for final year project. Uh, you start with proposal uh, presentation, then you uh, then you give mid-defense presentation, then you obviously write your thesis and then uh, at, um, like, at later stage you make a FIP poster. And obviously, it constitutes uh, around 10 to 15 percent of your overall weightage of FIP. So, uh, like, uh, it is very generic thing. You have seen posters of many different companies, many different projects. Uh, similarly, you have to make almost a similar one uh, for your FIP as well. So, uh, the 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 type of content you choose for the for the for the poster and. Uh, uh, either you will make it on landscape mode or portrait mode depends upon your university and obviously uh, the evaluation com committee that is established for this particular task but uh, all in all it's a, part a particularly very simple thing you uh, start your poster with the uh, FIP title and then uh, a small introduction and then theoretical background and obviously then obviously if there is a methodology or flowchart if you include that in your poster as well then uh, a software or hardware hardware portion involved in it then final year final uh, design then maybe prototyping plan timeline and then obviously suddenly at the end you will write a uh, conclusion the main goal of making a poster is you have to write the thing very concisely very precisely it should be self-explanatory but at the same time it should not be too wordly it should not uh, uh, be uh, too texty you should not include too much text you should not include too much text in it okay so uh, you will write uh, you will um, like include different flowcharts you will include different uh, um, maybe uh, pictures you will explain it with uh, uh, two to three lines wherever you need maybe a uh, text for any type of uh, inf uh, explanation uh, not the paragraphs or bullet pro points are usually considered best for uh, FAB poster so uh, then obviously you will print that poster and uh, there is a certain day in which you have to post uh, you have to paste the poster on the walls maybe or on standee and you have to present your FIP as I have said already it should be self-explanatory uh, so that anyone coming and seeing your poster understands what is going on in your project what are you uh, what are you making what are the goals uh, what is the problem that your uh, FIP is going to sort out so these are the things and again this is not a very difficult thing to do okay so now I'm about to show you some uh, examples of a good poster so here's the one it is uh, a mechanical engineering project with the name automatic paper cutting machine uh, he started with introduction which is too texty it is not recommended uh, then again a literature review this is fine uh, he has talked about different uh, research paper and its key findings this is very amazing you can utilize the same technique as well again this is a method methodology which is represented by a graph flowchart sorry which is fine then calculation which is again fine parametric study <clears throat> and then uh, obviously your university name your uh, supervisor name your emails your CMS IDs, your registration number, whatsoever. Then you have a final design here. Let's see another example. So there's another example. Uh, uh, this one was port in portrait and this too is in uh, portrait. I think so it's say three size or maybe um, A2. Well, as I said, the choice of headings. 
and uh, size of the poster depends upon your students, uni your universities and obviously their instructions so he started with the abstract abstract which is fine objectives objectives are written in bullets which again is fine uniqueness then uh, a flow chart flow chart is amazingly drawn um, as i said okay um, usually uh, in a fab poster uh, making poster is like you are selling something that you have made so obviously you need to uh, uh, do it in a most elegant way in a most graphical way in a most attractive way so colors are recommended uh, obviously as long as you don't have any restrictions of using any color so this is a good uh, poster by the way uh, then again he has used uh, simulations as a result and then conclusion and obviously university name and again so again there's another poster uh, abstract then this one uh, it is not like uh, uh, a rule that uh, the poster should be in port made in portrait again the same it's uh, as per your university instructions so then let's talk about few softwares on which you can uh, obviously uh, make your poster uh, you can do it on canva which is a, which is a, a software as well as a website then uh, you can make it on a top illustrator microsoft powerpoint then again pick to art inkscape inkscape then uh, then obviously google drawings lucid press and again obviously there are a lot more softwares available and uh, you have a uh, a special software associated with presentations uh, which is of microsoft again i'm forgetting the name obviously i will write the name in the description so don't forget to see the description as well i will probably give the link of uh, uh, maybe some good uh, posters as well uh, so that you can have the idea of how you can make the poster Baki, yes, obviously it's quite different from normal presentations because uh, in normal presentations, obviously you have so your slides. You can include too many things in your slides, okay, which is a help uh, for uh, maybe uh, what you have to speak during presentation. Here, obviously you have very few details that are, that are written on your poster, poster, so you have to prepare a lot for poster presentation. And again, uh, it should be uh very much more uh, attractive like it should be given in a more attractive way than uh, a normal presentation and as i have already said uh, you have to give it in a way that you are selling something that you have made okay so you, there should be like um, a harmony between the groups there should be like a good meeting before uh, the presentation so that you all are synced while presenting so yes that's all uh, best of luck uh, for your uh, maybe whatever you are trying to present maybe your final year project or any project you are going to present uh, may you succeed see you in the next vlog until then Allah Hafiz.